This is the house where 39-year-old Sukdal Singh Gill was killed last September in northwest Winnipeg, a case now tied to the tensions between Canada and India. A year later, it still concerns area resident Inderjeet Singh Brar. We were very concerned about that. It was like early morning when this happened and the kids were going to the school at the time. And I don't want this thing to happen in this community. The RCMP alleged Monday agents of the Indian government may have played a role in widespread acts of violence in Canada. And sources tell CBC News police are actively investigating whether Gill's homicide is connected to three men accused in the high-profile shooting death in June 2023 of six separatist leader Hardeep Singh Nijjar in Surrey. Nijjar's killing fractured the relationship between Canada and India. Parmjeet Gill with the Sikh Society of Manitoba says the tension between the two countries is weighing on some members of the Sikh community. Yeah, we have concern all over. I talked to my colleagues too, like... Uh, and we want to be a peaceful, like, and then all the relationship be established and peaceful in a good faith. Tensions flared last year when Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced in the House of Commons evidence linking Indian agents to the killing of Niger. Winnipegger Vikram Singh is worried about the diplomatic feud. Uh, whenever there is a conflict between the countries, we say that uh, the issues should be resolved by diplomacy. But uh, see now, uh, India and Canada both are uh, like they're terminating uh, the diplomats. So I don't know how they're uh, going to fix the problem. Brar worries those tensions could have a potential impact on some people now living here who require visas to travel back to India. The thing is, when we go back to the India, so in the airports, then we maybe we have to get more investigated. He hopes investigators can get to the bottom of what happened in his neighborhood. Winnipeg police say they're still investigating the Gill homicide. Josh Crabb, CBC News, Winnipeg.